All right, let's take a little more in-depth look at radical and power equations. So remember what we discussed before. Squaring can be undone by doing square roots. Square roots can be undone by doing squares in general. Nth power can be unraveled by nth root, and nth root can be unraveled by nth power. Whenever you work with squaring both sides or taking even power on both sides, or taking square roots for that matter on both sides, you must check your answer after the equation has been solved because you could end up with extraneous solutions. All right, let's take some examples. Square root x equals 4. Remember what we said, when you look at an equation, you must know what the solutions are going to be like. Are there any restrictions? We cannot have um, x to be a negative number in order for us to have real solutions. So you must have x to be greater than or equal to 0. So that will give you what? When you square both sides, x equals 16. That's your solution. Check. Square root 16 is 4, so it works out. On the other side, let's say, what if you had x squared equals 4 instead of square root x equals 4? So something square is 4, which means you would have to take square root. All right, so you do undo squares, which is take square roots, but you inherit the plus or minus. Why? Because square of a positive number and square of a negative number are both positive. So we're saying that x would have to be plus or minus 2. Why? Because 2 squared is 4, and negative 2 squared is also 4. So both those work. So you can check. So solutions are x equals 2 or x equals negative 2. All right, try that on your own. It's very much like this first one over here. In order for this equation to make sense, what restriction are we going to have? x plus 3 has to be greater or equal 0, or x has to be greater than or equal to negative 3. Just remember that. All right, square both sides, solve for x, and then check your answer. Good. All right, try that one on your own. Something squared equals a number. So you're going to take square root on both sides. But remember, if you take square root, you're going to be doing plus or minus. So what does that mean? That means x plus 3 can either equal 2 or equal negative 2. And then solve for x. So two solutions will come out. x equals negative 5 or x equals negative 1. Check. Negative 5 plus 3. That will give you negative 2. Bracket squared is 4. Check negative 1 plus 3, which is 2 squared, which is also 4. So they both check out. So x equals negative 5 and negative 1 are both your solutions. All right, what do you think will happen here? Look very carefully. Can, when you put real numbers in here, can square root of a real number be a negative? The answer is no. So let's just say I forgot that and I'm going to solve. So first, in order for this to make sense, we would have to have square root of this number. Square root only makes sense if you had 1 minus 2x greater or equal 0. So the restriction would have to be that 1 half is greater than or equal to x, or x is less equals 1 half. Only then this inside will be positive. All right, so let's square both sides, solve for x, and see what happens. We got x equals negative 4. Check it. So 1 minus 2 times negative 4, which is 8. 1 plus 8 is 9. Square root 9 is 3. But we want negative 3. So it does not work, so no solution. And we could have seen that right away. Square root of any real number is always a positive number, so there is no solution to this equation. So it does not work. Try that on your own. Something squared equals 3, so take square root on both sides. So 1 minus 2x is either square root 3 or negative square root 3. Subtract 1 from both sides. Divide everything by negative 2. And here's your two solutions. All right, try that on your own. Remember, when you're getting rid of 2 thirds, that means you're multiplying everything by 3 halves, right? Just remember that. 
So I can choose to multiply everything by 3. Remember, you can add same number on both sides, subtract same number on both sides, multiply the whole equation by the same number on both sides, or divide the whole equation by the same number on both sides. So let's choose to multiply by 3 and then unravel. So when you multiply by 3, look what happens. 3 times 2 thirds will give you a 2. 5 times 3, 15. 6 times 3, 18. And your equation looks like that. Remember, our task is to solve for x. So we need to free this x from underneath the radical sign. All right, subtract 15 from both sides. So 18 minus 15 is 3. And then divide both sides by 2. So how do we undo square roots? Square both sides. So that will give you x plus 3 equals 9 quarters. Subtract 3 on both sides. And 3 is the same as 12 fourths. 9 minus 12 fourths is negative 3 quarters. So x equals negative 3 quarters. But we don't know if it's our solution until we check. So let's check it. So negative 3 quarters plus 3, which will give you negative 3 quarters plus 12 quarters, which will give you 9 quarters. So 2 thirds times 3 halves, which will give you 1 plus 5 or 6. And that's what we wanted. So it checks out. So x equals negative 3 quarters is your solution. All right, try that one on your own. Pause the video and try. There are multiple ways to do this. You can subtract 5 from both sides and then multiply both sides by 3 halves. Or you can choose to multiply everything by 3 first, which will give you that. Then subtract 15 from both sides, then divide by 2, then square both sides. So that will give you 9 quarters. x equals 9 quarters. And again, go back and check your answer. So 2 thirds times square root 9 quarters, which is 3 halves, which will give you 6. And the answer should be 4. So 9 quarters does not work. So this will be no solution. 9 quarters is basically an extraneous solution. All right, try that. Both sides have square roots. So square both sides, add 1 to both sides, and subtract x. Divide by 2, and x equals 2. Again, check your answer. Make sure it works. So x equals 2 is our solution. All right, what do you think we should do here? Pause the video and try on your own. Cube both sides. Subtract 1. Divide by negative 2. But we are not done yet. We have to check. Hey, that works out. So that's your solution. Try that on your own.